Why did I do that? Hello and welcome! In this video I will be sharing the mistakes I made when I was starting out as Trophy Hunter and what would I have done differently with the knowledge I have today. If I was starting out now, I would have made a new account. Now this is a big one and I know a couple of people who actually did it down the line and I salute them. The thing is I was always a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to things I care about. I didn't notice trophies until not too long ago and before that I would just finish the campaign and leave them be. When I did start trophy hunting I had about 30 games on my account and abysmal 20% completion rate. I didn't really care about the completion rate at first, only about the leaderboards and the platinum count so it made a lot of sense to me to just continue with the account I already had. But it really started bothering me a few months down the line when I was already in way too deep with about 30 to 40 platinum trophies to my name, some of them being harder games too so I just couldn't really start over. My mistake was that knowing my character I should have seen this one coming and took action early on. From one perspective it does remove the pressure as I don't feel as bad leaving games unfinished because it's not like I have 99% completion rate account but it still really bugs me. By the way I did go back and finish a few of those games but some of them are really hard, others are unobtainable and there are a few games that I just have no interest in playing. Because of that my account will probably be forever stuck in mid 70s percent completion. Speaking of unobtainable trophies, like I said, I do have a couple of them on my account. The reason for it is because when I started them I didn't actually know that I wouldn't be able to get the Platinum. Games like Uncharted 3, PS3 and Portal 2 will be forever stuck on my profile, crushing my ambitions to have a Platinum trophy in every game I played on my main account. What is even worse, Uncharted 3 has a bunch of DLCs that are online only, so the maximum I'll ever be able to get in this game, completion wise, will be 43%. The hot take from that is I should have checked if you can actually obtain the Platinum Trophy prior to starting a new game, especially in older titles. Something else I should have considered when starting older titles, especially on PS3 platform, are again online trophies. Even if the servers are still online, you have to be extremely careful. First of all, most of those games don't really have an active player base anymore. Sure, there are a few exceptions like GTA 4, but it's not how it is most of the time. Because of that, you will probably have to boost for those trophies and you should do that as soon as possible because you never know when they decide to pull the plug on this game. Developers do usually announce it a few months in advance, but if the game has a long and grinding multiplayer and you have other things going on in your life, you still might not have enough time. I have one trophy in GTA 5 PS3 and one trophy in Red Dead Redemption 1 and I'm not sure if I ever gonna get those platinum trophies. When I was first starting out, I wasn't sure what type of games I would enjoy and have enough skills to pull off, so I would sometimes start a game, pop a couple of trophies, realize that I don't like it but it would be too late and it would either stay unfinished or I would have to force myself to play it. What I do now instead is try out games in two different ways. If I'm unsure on whether I'm gonna like it or not but I am confident in my skills, I would try out this game on my secondary account for an hour or two via game sharing. If I end up enjoying the game, then yes I wasted a couple of hours but at least I know that I can comfortably finish it now. With the games that I'm just not sure if if I have the skill to pull off I would play on blank account and if you don't know what a blank account is I put a link in the description below to a video that would explain it to you. Doing that dramatically improved my completion rate which I am actively working on. I think the most important point is that now I actually know what games are worth my time and what games don't. Yes I am constantly trying out new games and new genres but I don't have this pressure anymore. When I was starting out I was basically going after all the games with straightforward platinum trophies and not games that I necessarily wanted to play. I guess it got to the point when I was doing it for the wrong reasons, like the leaderboard, bragging rights etc and not because I was enjoying it. This is the reason you'll see games like The Bunker and Suicide Guy on my account, I was pretty much looking for games with easy platinum trophies that don't look too grubby like Chicken on the Road. I remember spending 8 hours straight playing Lara Croft Go and Hitman Go back to back while using a guide. Yes I did get 2 platinum trophies in one day but was it really worth my time? For me, not really. Same goes for games that just require you to grind multiplayer without any enjoyment. I was just really into trophy hunting back then and I guess I lost sight of what was fun. That is actually the reason I took a step back and now I play less games but I make sure that I enjoy every single one of them. Because of that I don't really feel burnt out from trophy hunting anymore, like I did at some point. Yes I would play some of those easy games here and there but I'm not forcing myself to do it anymore. That's the difference. I am curious, what mistakes did you make when you were first starting out? Also, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to me as I make gaming and trophy hunting content at least once a week. Thank you for watching.